The Alaskan Earthquake and Tsunami of 1964 by Veta Angelo. At 5.36 p.m. on March 27, 1964, a massive earthquake with a 9.2 magnitude on the Richter scale hit across south-central Alaska. It is known as the Great Alaskan Earthquake. It lasted for four minutes and is the most powerful earthquake in North American history. This picture shows how roads and buildings in Anchorage were damaged. The earthquake also caused liquefaction throughout the region, which resulted in many buildings collapsing, as shown in this picture. The cause for the earthquake was the northwestern motion of the North American plate. Every year, the Pacific tectonic plate slides roughly two inches under the North American plate near southern Alaska. Under intense pressure from the friction, the crust bended and strained until it eventually snapped back into place, which caused the earthquake. This picture shows the two tectonic plates and their boundaries off the Alaskan coast. This was a subduction zone earthquake, where an oceanic plate sank under a continental plate. The epicenter was on the southeastern coast of Alaska, 125 kilometers east of Anchorage and 20 kilometers north of Prince William Sound. This picture shows the epicenter marked with circles, the distance from Anchorage, and the boundary between the Pacific and North American plates. The focus was about 15.5 miles beneath the Earth's crust. In downtown Anchorage, the streets became like asphalt waves, and the cars started bouncing up into the air. The airport control tower suffered extreme damage. This is a picture of it before and after it collapsed. One of the reasons Anchorage suffered so much damage is that it sits on layers of sand and clay which caused landslides. This picture shows how a landslide pulled many houses down a steep bluff. Some areas near Kodiak Island were permanently raised by 30 feet while others dropped 8 feet. Railroad tracks were twisted and intertwined while trains and shipment were tossed around. The landslides caused several tsunamis. In Prince William Sound, Port Valdez was greatly damaged as the city harbor collapsed. 53 people died at the village of Chenega because they did not see the warning signs of a tsunami and were caught off guard when it hit. This picture shows how the tsunami flooded the village. The effects of the tsunami on Canada were devastating. The village of Hot Springs Cove near Vancouver Island was completely wiped out. The United States West Coast suffered damages as well. The waves were tossed in Crescent City 21 feet high. The tsunami reached as far as Hawaii and Japan but caused no damages. Over the months after the earthquake, thousands of aftershocks were felt. In the first day, there were 11 aftershocks with magnitudes greater than 6.0. There were 9 more aftershocks over the next 3 weeks. The aftershocks lasted more than a year after the earthquake, but the last ones were not felt or noticed. This map shows the locations of some of the biggest aftershocks. Thank you for watching.